you can make transitions from generators. And this is another alternative to using transitions aside from just grabbing these and slapping them on your footage. So if you don't already have the effects tab open, go ahead and open that by clicking on effects and then you will see a generators subcategory under toolbox. So go ahead and get into that generators tab and then we will grab a solid color. So drag that onto your timeline, all right? Now it kind of defaults to like five seconds, but we want to make this about two seconds. And once we do that, we can put the middle portion of this right on top of that cut, directly above the cut, okay? And the default color will be black, but that's okay. We can change it to whatever we want. I'm gonna change it to red, a nice darkish red color, right about there. And now the bread and butter of this whole thing is go to your video transitions. And instead of putting this transition on the footage, we are going to put it on the color, okay? So I have my two transitions on the solid color. Now this will look different than your traditional Aero Iris. It'll have a color within it, so it's gonna have a different look. But if you like it enough, then you might wanna use it. So I just wanna show you that you can do a transition this way rather than the traditional way. Look at that, isn't that cool? Very, very cool. You can put just about any of these transitions on the solid color. Some look better than others, but the point being, you can do it, it exists. This all is doable and it's an alternative way to use your transitions. And it will especially be a good alternative to using transitions if you did not trim your clips. The color might not be all that nice to you. The solid color might feel and look kind of plain and just dull or tacky or whatever. But there is a way to get a gradient to do that same thing. If you grab a fusion composition and put it onto your timeline like so, make it two minutes long and then open this up in fusion, you can grab a background, connect that up to your media out, change the background from solid color to a gradient and then change this gradient to whatever color you want. So I will do something like that for one of the colors and then the other color, I'm gonna do like an orange orange, okay, or yellow maybe, but I think orange is gonna be cool. And then what I can do is put this on the corners instead of on the side, the, the in and out points, the, the color points. And then what I can do is jump back onto the timeline and then it will show up as that color, which is a little bit more fancy and sophisticated than a solid color. If you like that better, then by all means do that. And that's another option for you. Another cool thing you can do in the Fusion Comp with your transitions is you can add a text to that color. So grab a text and connect it up to the background, merge it together, and then say whatever you want. I'm just gonna say color for demonstration purposes, and then I'm gonna size it up accordingly, you know, like that. And then when I transition this, it will say color. And that's pretty cool. You can do some fun creative stuff with this type of thing. Now you can put a text on the solid color, but you have to essentially make it the same length and put the same transitions on the text, and then you can have a text show up with that solid color transition as well, like you did in the Fusion Comp. It's just more layers and more transitions to, to use. Heck, if you don't wanna have two different video tracks for the text and the solid color, you can select them both, right click on them, and then click on new compound clip, name it whatever you want, transition, and then it will put it all into one clip and then it's just breaded together, okay? So that's one thing you can do to isolate those two layers if you'd rather use a solid color in a text. All right, so there you go. I hope you learned something. If you did, awesome. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will answer to the best of my ability. And without further ado, I will see you guys next time.